Good morning, Pirates. Today is Tuesday, October 19th. Happy National Kentucky Day, and welcome to the morning show. First, please stand for the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible for liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico, the Zia symbol of perfect friendship among the United Cultures. Hello everyone, I'm Skylar Charlie. And I'm Rhea Sariaga. And here are your morning announcements. Today we have more homecoming fun for you. Today is Nerds vs. Athletes Day. We've got our reporters around school taking pictures and videos of those of you that dressed up today. Tomorrow is anything but a backpack day where you bring your school supplies and equipment to school in anything but a backpack. Do you know what you're going to bring? Um, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the people that dressed up yesterday for Pajama Day. Today we're going to hear more from this year's homecoming candidates who want your vote for homecoming king and queen. They will be crowned at the big game Saturday between Grants and St. Pius, but before that, let's hear from the candidates representing football, dance, volleyball in the class of 2022. Hello, I'm Tyler Everhart. And I'm Dominique Martin, and we're your homecoming candidates for the, the GHS, GHS football, football team. team. <laughs> I'm a three-sport athlete at GHS. And I am an anchors and student senate. In Anchors, we help out with community service and Student Senate. We help plan out things for the school, such as homecoming. Homecoming has been an awesome event. In the past, sporting events have been the highlight of my high school career. The support of the crowd has been awesome, but we're asking the support for the GHS students to vote me and Dominique for homecoming king and queen. Hello, I'm Rain Graham. Hello, and I'm Noah Dalgarillo. And we are your homecoming candidates representing the dance team. So I was nominated for the team as one of the few seniors that we have as well as being captain and Noah here was nominated to come along with us because, well, he said he'd do it and I thought that was cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we do a couple things around the school. I am a, a part of the dance team and as well as in the drama club, student senate, um, GSA, and MESA. I'm also in MESA and I'm in the band and the jazz band and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, so we do a lot of stuff around the school with a lot of the different um, things that go on here. We help out a lot, especially like being a Senate member myself, I've been helping put together a lot for homecoming and we would like you to vote for us because we're the underdogs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joshua Wilcox running for girls volleyball. Uh, I think you should vote for me because I am a multi-sport athlete and I may like making new friends. Um, come support us Friday at the Port of the Pirates. We're playing St. Pius for our homecoming game. Hi, I'm Kinley Cash. I'm also running for volleyball. We have a game today, so come support. Wear pink. It's our dig pink game. And we'll see you guys there. Hi, my name is Kayla Sanchez. Hi, I'm Xander Sanchez. And we are, have been nominated to run for the class of 2022 for homecoming. And you better vote for us. Or else. Important news for seniors from Mrs. DeGro. Please check your student email and respond to the Google form. There are important graduation decisions to be made and your voice matters. Attention class of 2023, you will meet in Mr. Ottagon's room 207 on Thursday, October 21st instead of the regularly scheduled meeting on Friday. Please see Mr. Ottagon for more information on these events. To military men and women who serve and protect the U.S. come from all walks of life. They are parents, children, grandparents, friends, neighbors, and co-workers and are an important part of our community. Here are some facts about the veteran population of the United States. 16.1 million living veterans served during at least one war. 2 million veterans are women. 7 million veterans served during the Vietnam War. 
five and a half million veterans served during the Persian Gulf War. Of the 16 million Americans who served during World War II, there are less than 250,000 still alive. Two million veterans served during the Korean War, and six million veterans served in peacetime. Veterans Day is November 11th. Join the Grants High School Band and Choir on the evening of November 10th as they pay tribute to the veterans of Cibola County. The concert begins at 7 p.m. and admission will be free. If you would like to share a picture of your veteran to be shared at the concert, go to the Grants High School webpage and click on the link. We have a new social media account to share with you. It's the official Twitter account for the JHS Counseling Department. The handle is on your screen. Soon you'll be able to receive tweets about all sorts of things from that department. So head on over and follow. And if you haven't yet, follow the official JHS Twitter feed. The handle is on your screen as well. Special birthday shout out to Barrett Antonio, Autumn Tafoya, and Noya Worthen. Happy, Happy birthday, we, we hope, hope you have, have a fantastic, fantastic day. day. The GHS Daily Announcements are brought to you by Angry Jack Productions, and as always, we are GHS for success. <laughs>